Hello everybody. Today we're gonna learn about shapes. We're gonna learn about 2D and 3D shapes. So let's look at some 2D shapes first. What shape is this? A triangle. A rectangle. A square. A circle. Who knows why these are 2D shapes? 2D shapes only have length and width. These shapes are flat. They're 2D shapes. Length and width. Length, how long it is and how wide it is. Length and width. Length and width. A square has four equal sides. So all the sides are equal on a square. But a circle has one length. It's continuous. Now let's look at some 3D shapes. What shape is this? It's a pyramid. It's not a triangle. It looks like a triangle when I leave it like this, but it's a pyramid. 3D shapes have edges and faces. This is the face. This is the edge. This triangle is flat. It only has length and width. This has faces and edges. What about this shape? What shape does it look like? It looks like a rectangle until I turn it. This is a 3D, it's called a cuboid. A cuboid has many faces and many edges. It has face at the top. That's face at the bottom. What about this? What does this shape look like? It looks like a square, but it's a cube. It's 3D. This square is flat. It's flat. It only has length and width. This has faces and this has edges. And last, what is this? It looks like a circle. But it's not. It's a cylinder. The cylinder is round at the top and round at the bottom and one continuous face. This is a 3D shape. It's called a cylinder. So we have a pyramid, a cuboid. A cube and a cylinder. Now I want you to go around the house and tell me some of the 3D shapes you could find. I'll show you some of the ones that I found. This is a speaker. What shape does this look like? It looks like a rectangle at the front, but it's 3D. It has many side, it has many edges and many faces, just like this cuboid. A pitcher, you put juice in it, water. What does this look like? A cylinder, it's round at the bottom and round at the top. This is also a cylinder. It's round at the top and round at the bottom and one continuous face. So I want you to go around the house and find some of the 3D shapes that you can find. Thank you for participating.